Hello, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new video. Today, what I thought we could talk about is some wellness habits or just lifestyle changes that I've made that have really shifted my life. Um, I feel like I have been on a journey. <laughs> I've been on such a journey for the past few years and I want to say it actually all started with changing my mindset around my wardrobe and everything kind of like tic-tac-toe made me want to better my life in general leading to a lot of like wellness lifestyle changes as well getting a lot more into personal development um, and just really focus on focusing on living a more conscious and mindful lifestyle because before <laughs> I was just buzzing around through life, never really thinking twice about things, but I feel like it is very important to have moments of self-reflection and be mindful of what you're doing and live a very conscious life, which is why I wanted to make this video just to share. Number one, uh, one of the lifestyle habits, routines, whatever you want to call it, that really shifted the way I think about things is practicing stoicism. So it's very much the idea of leading with thought over emotion. Uh, something I realized <laughs> that I myself had done throughout you know, my whole life basically was very much make decisions that were very emotion based and very snap decisions um, without ever taking a step back to think about things thoroughly. I feel I am quite an intuitive person, but I very much had that turned off for a lot of my life. And it's something I've recently tapped into within the past couple of years. And now it's something that I'm actively, you know, working on within my life. But I, yeah, I just think it's so important to look at situations as a whole and think about the world doesn't revolve around you. <laughs> and I know we all think the world revolves around ourselves, but it doesn't, <laughs> hate to break it to you. But I think practicing stoicism really makes you take that step away from yourself and look at everything from a more objective standpoint rather than your subjective standpoint and through practicing a lot of this it's made me much more self-aware it's also made me realize you know that everyone is only living through their own perception of life people live through their own eyeballs based on their own experiences through life based on you know xyz and all we that, that's how we all live we live through our own perception and our own you know subjective views but if you can take a step back to try to see situations from more of an outside perspective and get different angles of things which is why i never like taking anything at face value i much prefer to have all of the details and all of you know the facts or whatever laid out in front of me before I start making decisions on things because I think that is a very very important thing to do in life and also something that just leads to a much healthier mindset when you can realize that everybody else is just living through their own perceptions too and it's not necessarily personal um, towards you when something happens or whatever the case may be. A good book to read on that topic is The Four Agreements. That one, there's a whole section in that book called Don't Take Anything Personal because in reality it's not. You might think things are super personal but I think at the end of the day people are just wrapped up in their own minds um, and doing what's best for them at the end of the day, you know, as we all should, but I just think it's important to remember and try to have more of that objective standpoint. Another good book that I would recommend, which I've spoken about before too, is The Daily Stoic. I read that every single morning. Love, love, love that book. A lot of great little nuggets of wisdom in there too. The next little wellness habit that has really helped me out is to focus on creation over consumption. Now, when I first started out on social media and creating content, I it's crazy how much it can just suck you in. It's like a vacuum cleaner. Like <laughs> you're just like sucked into that whole world. And it's very easy to not be able to see the forest through the trees. That's the saying, right? Yeah, I feel like when I was starting out, I was very much focused on what everybody else was doing and 
how to keep up and you know if something's successful for someone else that, that must be like the magic formula to make something successful and I feel like a lot of people get wrapped in that as we all see you know there's tons of trends on social media and people just follow along all the trends but it's important to come back to yourself because if you are just following along trends all the time and trying to keep up and keep up and keep up it's just a hamster wheel and I feel like you lose yourself in the process you definitely lose your own sense of purpose your own why and that's very easy to do honestly I've definitely had my roller coaster of a roller coaster of a time on social media over the past five years or so but something you know this year especially I really had to I took a step back a little bit um, and really tried to get back in touch with my why and figure out what it is that I truly want because it's very easy to get lost in it all and focusing on the creation and when I had uh, Wendy Robinson on my podcast she is an artist and she kind of touched on this too how she was saying when she started on YouTube she didn't want to look at what other artists were doing like she didn't want to be influenced by what other people are doing because it's so easy to just become a carbon copy of someone else but if you really narrow in on your own creation and your own creativity and do things your way that's what's going to make you stand out at the end of the day because there already is a someone else who you may be trying to emulate and you're just going to come across as a second rate version of them so what's the point in that so focusing on the creation rather than just consuming, consuming, consuming. And I have definitely really limited my screen time as well, my scroll time. I feel like the only app I still kind of actively use a lot is YouTube. I, I love YouTube oh, and podcasts. I like the longer form stuff. And the last wellness habit that I wanted to touch on was reframing how I look at food. And I feel like this is a huge one this is a big one and I think a lot of people struggle with it. I know I have definitely had times where I've been like I've gone through phases where I've been so crazy about health and fitness and watching everything that I ate or times where I just ate everything under the sun and I've had such a roller coaster relationship with food as well. But when you can reframe your mindset to how you think about food and thinking of it as fuel, thinking of it as like nutrients and something that's that's allowing you to live and feel good that is extremely important and a much better mindset to have around it something I've been trying to tell myself is you know it's kind of on that Buddhist wavelength is that you know everything in life is neutral there's nothing say good or there's nothing say bad as well everything is neutral it's just what you make of it so there's no such thing as bad food and there's no such thing as good food there's just foods that are maybe more nutrient dense Foods that are going to make you feel better, foods that are going to make you a lot more energetic. Um, and then there's foods that maybe aren't so nutrient dense and foods that might make you feel a little bit more sluggish. So it's like feeding yourself these things that are going to make you feel your best. They're going to make you want to, to be your best. Um, I think that's such an important thing to reframe your mind around. And it's like the more you're on that path too, the more it motivates you to keep going and to keep feeding yourself a lot of those nutrient dense foods and things that are gonna make you feel so much better about yourself. Your skin is gonna thank you, you know, your your energy levels are gonna thank you. It's all all gonna come around so those are three little wellness habits that I've tried or I'm actively working on to reframe my mindset and live a more conscious healthy wellness inspired lifestyle and I think it's really important to actively work on pushing the boundaries in your mindset and allowing yourself to I don't know look at things in a different way